All right, we are here for the Soldiers Interview Special Edition documentary. For all the soldiers, Big baby. Deuce. Big That's Deuce, right. baby, right here. We are out here mm. in Atlanta, and yeah. uh, the number one most question is, yeah. Nine Lives is out, top 40 album, all that, but mm. aside from the tour, are you already working on new music, or are you going to do a mixtape, album? I'm uh, working on a second album right now, or an EP. Yeah. So I'm always working on new music, you know, Got a studio back there, a studio at home. You know, I do this shit all myself. So yeah, I'm working on new music, new tracks. We're gonna have new music come out. Yeah. You know, but this record did just come out. You know, right. like three months ago. So we'll be yeah. working this record. We'll be uh, playing this record, and right. you know, expect new songs, new videos from this record. Maybe a brand new song, a new video. You know, yeah. you never know what this is gonna pull out of the motherfucking hat, baby. Hell yeah, mm -hmm. definitely looking forward to that. Now, there's a couple of songs that people are wondering about. For instance, uh, where are we rolling? And yeah. what's up now? And the only ones which. I think uh, it was at the end of Story of the Snitch. Yeah. Uh, are we going to hear those tracks? You might. You might hear those. You might hear, hear tracks that are even better than those, you know. Yeah. But those are kind of like, those are like the ones that we didn't put on the album because they just didn't make it, you know. Right. But like Story of a Snitch, like the end of that song, yeah. that was just kind of like part of the message of the song, you know. If you really look deep into it. Right. You'll find out why I put that clip at the end of it. You know, yeah. I don't want to say it. I don't want to get into it because everyone yeah. asks me the same question about right. me and my old man and all that shit. So yeah, that song was made like a year ago. The other songs, I don't know if we'll release. We, you know, we might release them for free sometime. Right. We don't know yet. You know. Well, hopefully, uh, you might decide to do that. I know I would love to hear them as well. Um, yep, yep. Another thing fan, uh, fans uh, are wondering about is how do you come up with the idea for the mirror mask? And uh, let's get it cracked. Uh, it just has like a party, like kind of kinky feel to it. You know, it's like mirror, mirror balls equals like disco balls. You know, and it's like gives it a club feel. You know, like you're yeah. in a club, you're dancing. You know, bitches, you know, and that's kind of the whole idea behind that mask. Right. Yeah. So you've also got a new, you've got a new mask, uh, yeah, the, the Danger Mask. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it, so I assume this is going to be a continuing trend. You're going to keep bringing out new masks, everything. Uh, that's right. New shit. I'm a dangerous artist, man. Well, <laughs> speaking of dangerous, going back to your next album, mm -hmm. is there any new risks or styles your uh, direction in taking? Like, are you gonna go in a different way with it, or is it gonna be what you've been so yeah, successful yeah. with at this point? Well, I don't want to tell you guys yet because you know whatever I do put out, you guys will like. You know, right. it will be sick. Yeah. But I don't want to give that away. You know. Right. I, when I put it out, you'll get a surprise. Hear what it's like. You know. Yeah. But it's definitely gonna be sick. You know, it's right. gonna be good. It's not gonna be you know no. No pussy shit, you know? It's gonna be some good shit that everyone can rock out to, you know, just like all my other shit. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, now, how did you get Skilo on the end of the album version of Now You See My Life? How'd that collab come about? He was the homies with a dude I knew named Eugene, who's a producer who produces him. I already had that song done, kind of, mm -hmm. and uh, Skilo was just like really into it, you know? He was super stoked on it. Yeah. So I was just like, yo, dog, you want to fucking collab on it, you know? And I'm going to throw it on my album. And he was like totally down. He came in the studio, you know, one, two hours, banged his verse out. You know, we finished up the rest of the song and uh, it was all all good from there. And last soldier question for the interview. Yeah. On a less serious note, mm -hmm. if you could have one superpower, what would it be and why? Uh, the one superpower, probably fucking to be able to fuck for a whole fucking month straight. <laughs> Not my dick hurt. <laughs> uh, don't you have to I'm ask why that? <laughs> because fucking is good, man. It feels good. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, I would agree with that as well. And uh, one last time, we yeah. want to give a shout out to DoSolution.co. What's up, y'all? Hop on there to support this guy. Call your local radio stations. Tell them to play America. I came to party. Nine Lives album, iTunes, Best yeah, Buy, yeah, yeah. get it all there. Yeah, and, uh, Best Buy, iTunes, yeah. all that shit. And do you have anything uh, else to say to the soldiers that are going to be watching this? Just that I love them and I want to see them come out to Uproar. I want to see them come out to all the shows. You know, go on my Facebook.com slash LA. Go to the website if you want to know where all the shows are at. Yeah. You know, www.deucela.com. 
just that's it, you know, that I'm here for them and I'm always going to be here for them. All right. That's why I do this. Sounds cool. good, man. And uh, thank you again so much for your time. Sounds good, it's brother. A pleasure, dude. Yeah. yeah, sounds good. And we will see you on the next episode, Chapped Up TV.